Well, hello, Sierra. Thank you so much for joining us. Give me just one second here, guys. And then we'll get the stream started. Just getting my control schemes back. Just getting uh, attacked by an alien. A little xenomorph. Give me just a couple of minutes here, and we'll get it started with the stream. Okay, okay. Alex, thank you so much. Uh, Aria, thank you so much. Costco Sample, thank you for coming back. Stephanie, uh, the CA. Kelly, Alice, always good to see you all. Okay, so the alien doesn't come into this room. He said with the alien, like, right there. Uh, I know, because I've been going around doing shit, and the alien didn't get me while I was going around doing shit around the house. So. Okay, so control, lean, motion tracker. Just trying to get my shit back. So we just started this area when I closed the game out. Whoa! Okie dokie. So I legitimately have absolutely no idea where we are, what we're doing. I looked at the map, and the map is just like this. This is all there is. Point zero six means it's right on fucking top of me. Point oh four means it's literally like right there. What the fuck? It's not moving or anything. It's just right here. Oh, hello, Aaron. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck?
What do you want from me, you stupid fucking alien? And that robot's gonna come to fucking life and cause me all kinds of fucking heartache. Nazi, thank you so much. But I am freaked out. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is happening with this fucking alien? Where is it? Oh, man, this is the worst it's ever been. All right, so what's my crafting menu again? Inventory? No. Let's hide beneath the desk. What's my crafting? Okay, there's my crafting. I don't think a Molotov's going to do much against a fucking Xenomorph. Is it? What is a Molotov going to go against a fucking Xenomorph? Oh, man. Hi, Kaiju. Like, is it a space Molotov? The alien's not invisible, but we sure as shit don't know what it's doing. We can't find that fucker at all. Alright, I can't go in there. I want to throw the Molotov in there since I just saved. Okay, I'm trying to pull up my... I'm literally trying to scroll through anything other than stun baton and revolver. It's not working. Okay, so that did bring the... Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> well, that answers that. The alien is, in fact, here. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Son of a bitch. Okay. <sighs> okay, this is what I was trying to pop up. Sometimes this doesn't work and I need to die and reload it. Well, that didn't work. And that didn't summon the alien? Oh, I have no idea when this fucker comes or not. That didn't summon the alien? So this is like poison? All right. 
Once again, I have absolutely <laughs> no fucking clue <laughs> what I'm supposed to be doing in this fucking game. Hope you enjoy watching me die. Alright. Like, how am I supposed to know that's poison? And also, how am I supposed to know you can't get rid of the poison? <laughs> it's time. Alright, so I'm just going to warn everybody now. <clears throat> I ordered some food. So you might hear some beeps. And here's the thing about the beeps. After the beeps, you might hear me screaming. Out of absolute terror. So it's right above me, and it's literally, like, stalking me. fucking terrifying. I think I need to... Audio, I think I just need to turn down the fucking music a little. Just a little. I'm having trouble hearing the actual fucker. Yeah, it's like in the vents or some shit. Well, that looks like it's gonna fucking open up later during an emergency sequence. Terrified of this fucking xenomorph, man. So good job, programmers. You sh for sure succeeded in that aspect. Like, everywhere I go, I'm basically... Even though I'm dead as soon as I see it, I'm always just looking for the motherfucker. Even though I'm dead as soon as it appears... Better smoke bomb. Not that I've ever used one. No enemy nearby. Always nice to hear. <clears throat> Russell, my spiel is a potential client today. What do you think? Oop. Welcome to Jump In. Welcome to the buzzing here of the Seven Wall Synthetic Solution. Next up on your troll will be the Synthetic Spire and the Apollo Core itself. But first, an example the entrance of the Twin Wall Synthetics. We believe in the first rollout of the fully automatic synthetic. Okay. Right down and got stacked with component storage. There's some useful stuff in there. Some junk. They want, they value estimates too. Okay. So get in there. Done. Okay, oh. Alright, we just saved. They're telling us there's some fun stuff around. They just gave us another crafting thing. I just need to chill the fuck out. And remember, he's just an alien. Hello, T. Okay, maybe those. Is this a different office? Yeah, there's no save in here. It must be a different office.
Smith, head of synthetic dynamic development. I just received schematics for the 120 I don't know which we paid for this mole, but season four is going to need hell out. Shovel a lot more. Seems the old tech for V1. Wayland Enterprises, but beyond anything we're capable of, our executive shareholders won't listen, but we need an investment. Okay. Ta! Ah! Some guy just arrested development this guy over his suits. Like the guy in $8,000 suits is gonna go ahead and listen to the fucking investment miner? Come on! Hello, Winter Dark Road. Hello, Galaxy Universe. I don't think I've met either of you before. Thank you so much for coming on out. So what I think I'm going to need to do more than anything because of how wide open these spaces are, I think I'm going to need to drop like a noisemaker down one of these like shafts at the very least. Like I'm going to have to prove my anti-alien techniques. That's That much is clear. Um, but I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't really know how to do that. Is that a fucking synth? No. God, I'm even just seeing enemies where they're not there. I'm that fucking nervous. All right, so this is like two giant rooms, two giant corridors that the alien can move in way, 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 way faster than me. down to that lower level. That's all there is to it. Okay. Here we go. Why am I so nervous? Oh, God damn it. Do you see how not nervous I should be of this fucking game, guys? Is this a gun I see before me? It's the lesser-known Lady Macbeth version. Okay, well, 
I'm not leveled up enough for magic guns yet. That's okay. I have to gain a few more magic points to get the magic floating guns. That makes sense. You don't want to give everybody flagic, f magic guns right away. Take away from the realism. Oh, fuck yeah, I want to save. So there's three save stations in this fucker. That can't be good. This one's down a hallway, though, so I definitely don't want to trigger the alien. Okay. Finding some alternative routes around. Here's a vent. This will lead us back to that thing. As soon as we do something, the alien's gonna run a fucking muck through these two corridors, and then I gotta get back, is what it's looking like. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Guys, I just wanted a fucking pizza. Give me one second here. Well, <clears throat> and that's why, guys, you should never yell before you know the full story, because the pizza was just here super early. <laughs> so, like, a half hour earlier than they said it was going to be. <laughs> and so, I thought for sure that was a call being all like, uh, there's going to be a problem with your pizza, bra," Because uh, that's what happened last time. So, that was just the guy calling to be all like, hey, uh, you didn't answer, so pizza time. <laughs> and that's after I was like, oh, god fucking damn it. Oh, God fucking damn you. Two pizzas in a row, you can't get me. So, just to go to show you, Daddy hasn't had enough weed today. That's absolutely true. We'll fix it real soon here, though. The way that this fucking stream is going. We're 25 minutes... I make so little progress during these games, I'm just so self-conscious. Because I'm terrified. Because I'm terrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll have the pizza later. It'll be very good. Am I back at the beginning? Yeah. This is the beginning. This takes me back up to that save area. So I could have just walked through here the entire time. Oh, wow, this area is huge. Okay, so. What am I doing? Find a compression cylinder to repair the island or find a way to wa open the door of the warehouse. So I think I need to open the warehouse first. Okay, okay. Yeah, I treated myself too, and I got a pizza and wings from a good place. I just threw them in the fridge so that I won't get sick. Really excited. Very excited. When the stream is over, we're going to pull out the bacon sheet and aluminum foil and do it right and everything. Real excited for this pizza. Okay, so we have now officially been around this whole area because we looted that fucking body. 
Yep, 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 yep. This is where we decided to go down because we couldn't go forward no more for some reason. Yep. Okay, so. We're getting our Baron. And not only was I like, oh god fucking damn it, you're not gonna get me my pizza. The guy was super nice too. He's all like, yes, hello, sir. I left the uh where you wanted. Oh, I needed that. Can't believe I missed that. I uh followed directions, I left where uh, where you wanted, and uh I took I took money, is for me, yes. Uh, and I left plates and I left napkins, and I hope you have a wonderful night, sir. Thank you, sir. So that's the guy I was yelling at. That's the guy I was mad was interrupting uh, my video gaming. <laughs> that sweetheart. So... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the way that I get food delivered to me, it's like, like, I'm, uh, like, I'm, the most like I'm the elephant man or some shit. Or like I'm a Russian spy who's living in America, like I'm a Stranger Things season 3 thing going on. Like, I'm just 100%, like, trying to not avoid it. Because what I do is I, I order the food through PayPal OneTouch. And so there's already, like, this fuzz because the restaurant gets an order from, like, ordered from PayPal. So already they're like, huh, it's going to be hard to assassinate this guy. That's right. It is. Because you don't know who I am. And then number two, like, the food comes and I have, like, a security door. I have, like, a big metal door on the outside. I guess I'm going to have to focus and go down. I have a big metal door on the outside uh, that has its own internal locks and what have you. Like, this isn't a metal door that opens over the regular front door that a lot of people have. This is its own metal security door. And then there's like a corridor, and then my front door pops up. So there's like an enclosed stoop, like a big metal enclosed stoop. And my instructions for food delivery divers are simply, LEAVE ON STOOP! Tip there. And it's not that I want to leave those instructions for them. It's just that literally like every delivery service message field is only something like 18 characters. It's like 18. It's like you're naming a fucking video game with most of these fuckers. And so you really have to like figure out what's important. And so for all of them, I just. I just say, leave on stoop. Money there! Tip there! No knock! Light out! But I've learned that if you, if you write tip there, then you will get 100% delivery. You will get 100% delivery, uh... Acceptance and service. All you gotta do, no matter how caveman you talk, is put the tip there at the end. And they'll figure out a way to get to it. That's why I think Pizza Hut can't get me my pizzas no more. You can't tell them. You can't tell them that there's tip there. They don't let you. Does this open? All right, well, I really don't want to be in here. What? Oh, this stage is... All of that creeping around I did for 30 minutes was worthless. All of that was meaningless. Oh, this game is so fucking weird. This game is a fucking nightmare. It was constructed in a fever dream. There are four save areas in this fucking area. Okay, that's gonna fucking power up the alien. God damn it.
right on fucking top of me again. Alien enemies nearby? Does it say enemies nearby? When it won't let you save and says, please wait, that's got to be the most terrifying thing I've seen in this fucking game yet. Why? What the fuck do you want me to wait for, game? What am I waiting for, you piece of shit game? Huh? Huh? What do you want me to wait away for, game? Game over, man. Game over. What do you mean, wait? I want to save and I want to save now. What am I wait? What are you doing? What are you doing in there, computer? Huh? What? What's your higher priority? What the fuck? What the fuck? There we... Okay, apparently I just need to wait. All right, all right, all right. Just like the pizza, I guess I didn't learn my lesson. I just need to be more patient. All right, all right. That one's on me, I guess. I, I don't... <laughs> I, I guess the universe is really just trying to get this one across to me, and I'm not figuring it out. Sorry, universe. You're going remedial and everything. The universe is rolling its... rolling its fucking eyes. We'll sneak you in here, please. Thanks. Oh, don't you worry. I do think that Alien's gonna spook the shit out of me. All right. So that's where we start. That's the starting room. I don't want to power up the requisitions, Android. I don't want to do that. Request denied. I don't want to do that. I don't... Game. 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 I don't want to do that. Oh. You look like an evil cyclops. Do not want to do this shit. Oh my god. This le this stage is gonna fucking kill me. Oh, I'm so glad that I can stress eat after I get done. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I can stress eat once this is all over. Uh, you. And then you. And then you. And then you. Didn't piss the xenomorph off? Cause that almost pissed me off the way that was bumping. Hey game, I've been patient. I've waited my ass off. It's time to let me save now. I don't know if you can call it a snack if one inhales an entire medium deep dish pizza by themselves. You want to call that a snack, I'm all for it. I have waited, sir. Yeah, you know why? 
because you could never fucking use your fucking scrap. You could never pick anything up in this fucking game. All right, and sp speeding. Now you fired me. You'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The dyes you commissioned in Seven Spool have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging. So use the requisitions android. Power him up. Fuck you, game. Let him out of his box. Fuck you, game. And watch him go, just like me. Fuck you, game. By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk at Gillen's Bar. I guess you already know this. It's been pure hell working for you. You've been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, wow. Smith has a lot of emotion. Hey guys, just got another message from Speeding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theater. But guys, I've got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your little VIP visit. If Speeding wants to give me a priority, maybe you should stop being a petulant in high school. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need on the component selection. Row 1, Slack B. You can just call me Mr. Exposition. I don't know why they're trying to include all this, like, drama on the space... Oh, that's right. I fucking can't seem to remember that. All right. There. I used some of your scrap. Are you happy, fucking game? Ugh. You guys are Smythe fans, huh? Well, god damn it! I swear to Christ, I'm clicking the keys that should bring up the medikit, and it's not doing it. And sometimes that just happens with this fucking game. I swear to Christ, I know that sounds like a flaky little excuse, but 100%, I will press the key to bring up a medkit, and it won't come. And then I'll die, and then it will. It's happened over and over. Alright, so. So this is the android. We want to get in here. We need the key card. We now have the security tuner number two. Is the alien seriously not still moving around? Because when are they going to start? You know? When is the alien going to fucking start coming after us then? Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I get in here now? No, I have to restore power still. All right. Well, just have to find a place to use the security tuner. I just don't know where it is. You guys are really big Smythe fans. That guy had a bullet hole in his head, so he can't have been killed by the Xenomorph. Unless the Xenomorph has started using small munitions fire. Well, was there something up here to tune? I don't remember. I don't think so. 
We gotta use the security tuner to open a door to find the key card. Is what my game plan is. Wouldn't that be crazy? The Xenomorph starts listening to Snoop Dogg or like, you know, like NWA or some shit, and all of a sudden they start doing drive bys with their feet. Broken, thank you so much for coming by. I've missed you. I hope you've missed me too, darling. I remember that you had a name that wasn't your screen name, but I don't remember what that was. Just being real with you. I'm planning on doing a lot more streaming as soon as I stop getting aggravated by xenomorphs. Which is on me, I know. Okay, so... Uh, I feel like I've done a pretty okay job exploring. I really do. I feel like I have a good idea of, like, where everything is, where I am in relation to it. Jasmine, thank you so much. Jasmine, thank you for laughing and thinking that's amusing. I appreciate that very much. It's nice to be missed. Well, I just did a little run. Like, that's how confident I'm getting. All right. <clears throat> well, we're just kind of bouncing back and forth between these four save points now. When I look at the map, it tells me the objectives are getting into this room, which I need a key card for, activating this android, which I don't know how to do without the key card. Oh, thank you, Maria. I appreciate it and you. Well, this seems to be pointing me towards the fucking android. Maybe I missed something with the fucking android. Oh, God. No blinders. Well, that would fucking do it. It's got white eyes. Like this. Thank you. I will leave you a very good review. Okay. Well, I'm going to go save real quick. Now that we've spent 30 minutes, 40, 50 minutes doing this shit. Oh my god. Let me have some more hash cookie. It's going to be a long stream tonight. I can just tell.
Pizza's in the fridge. So I'm not going nowhere. Let's fucking get prepared to creep around this level for another nine hours. Giddy up. I thought for sure what was going to happen was for the remainder of this, the robot was going to go on a fucking, like, difficult... little twisty bum, and I was going to have to follow him as he did various bullshit. Locked. Oh. I stole your key card. Can we? No. Can we? Oh, -ho! aha. Move down. Move down. No. Move down. <clears throat> you got your chill? It's always nice to have your chill. Wouldn't it be great if the if the Xenomorph was just like lying on its side like Mae West in one of these things and I was just like bringing it down towards me and it was just like, hi there, big boy. Now that wouldn't work for this game, but you can't tell me that there isn't like a VR game in the future where if you saw that you would be like, fuck yeah. Everybody has pizza. How exciting. Nobody's in shape and everybody has pizza. It's just how I like it. Chick-fil-A, very good. It's always good to go to Chick-fil-A on a Saturday, because what if you get a craving on Sunday? And then you fuck. God damn it! Gosh, that is... That is such... A fucking tenuous little toggle button on that son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Can I move you down? I cannot move you up or down. Alright, alright. So that's the cylinder. that I need allegedly I wonder what happens if you just go through the vent does the vent fucking work cuz you show me a way to go around a vent and generally speaking that's exactly what I want to do Your chili has fresh onion. That sounds delicious. Is it real chili? Like the Texas dish? Like uh, beef and spice and tomato and onion? God, I'm getting hungry. My mouth is starting to water. Okay, so. Place component in the elevator. Yeah, right. Oh, aliens moving.
The alien's moving real fast. Yeah, I agree. Hot food with ice water is a great, great tradition. I personally like some spicy pollo burritos with my water. Great way to stay hydrated. Are you fucking kidding me? That can't be real. If a loading screen pops up right now, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Okay. Wow. So like the only time the alien killed me is after I randomly fired a gun into a room? Seriously? Is the game just taking pity on me now? What the fuck is happening? <clears throat> That's almost scarier than if the alien's always attacking. That was suspicious, guys. Like, we came up with a game plan and everything because we were like, oh, yeah, the alien's going to be running around. Whoops. Apparently the alien can't hear me so good in this area. Y'all just saw that motherfucker jump down that tunnel, right? Oh, there's people here. Oh, shit! Well, hey, alien, go kill them. They're shooting. We went through a whole area without really being attacked by the alien is what happened. And, like, I was... Apparently you can shoot like a motherfucker. This is nice. Let's stay here forever. Fuck you, alien. Uh, I think I have to die because I can't use medkits. And then after I die, I should be able to use medkits again. We'll see.
Jesus Christ, this game is... Man, it really is sublime and ridiculous. One minute I'm terrified, the next minute I'm mad fucking Max. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't even hesitate, I just gatted the motherfucker. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, is there an alien around? Who gives a shit? Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew! The tension is broken, baby! <laughs> Gonna get someone from Synthetics to look over my Android. I just worked 24 hour shift helping with trauma patients, and I'm the dentist! Waits wants every one of them moved out of the hospital. No one is telling me anything. I'm going to be pulling down these kinds of hours. I need some extra help. We've got an Android out here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's been gathering dust compared to some of the models. Okay, so they're. Machines start going bad. Okay. I wonder, can I load? Load current save. Yes. Yes. Will that fix it? Because I just want to fucking use my med kit. That's all. One. All right. Maybe there really is like a huge issue. Options. Game, input, select revolver, select shotgun, select. Use, crouch, reload, peek, select your guns, motion tracker, flashlight. Yeah, I'm fine with that, because did I change anything? There we go. Ah. No! Okay, game, we're gonna have to have a talk about player choice and selection, okay? If I pull up my fucking med kit, guess what I wanna fucking use? And if I use my fucking med kit after I use my med kit, but I still don't have full health, guess what I fucking wanna use, game? Like, come on, man! Did you just select the med kit? Yes. Did you just use the med kit? Yes. Probably a mistake. We're going to default back to the stun baton. Why? Has anyone ever used this piece of shit in the entire game? Did you not see how quick it is to gat somebody instead? Who's using this piece of shit? Huh? Do, 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 do. Well, now that I've said it, I mean, now that I've said it, it'd be kind of ridiculous not to. I mean, look at that. Look at that big, meaty ass. Game programmers aren't afraid to input a male ass at all. That's, they're not afraid to input a big, normal-looking male butt. What a totally normal-looking male butt. This isn't at all the back section of a child's mannequin. This isn't at all... Thank you very much for the tip, Kelly. This isn't at all uh, the ass that you would see on the reverse section of a cardboard cutout. Right? That's just the sexiest ass ever. Look at that fu- Look at them fucking buns. Excuse me, sir. I was objectifying you. That was very rude of you. Uh, why is there saying there's no alien? I don't believe that for a second. What do you guys think? That there's no alien here? I don't believe that. Do you? So this was just like this guy's, like, storage den is what we're trying to take away. Like, he's got a bunch of shit. He was in here. 
He was all cooped up. He was taking pot shots at whoever walked in here, right? That's where I came in. He took some pot shots at me, right? And I came up and I fucking stunned his ass. Literally. It says there's no alien, which means I'm suspicious that there are multiple aliens. <laughs> Gabe, you sit on a throne of lies. Like, you need to do more squats or something if you're going to grunt every time you get down on your knees. Really? Kaiju, what a great question about Geiger. I don't actually know about Geiger. Uh, when he passed, I read a few years back, I read, uh, I read about him, but I don't know if he actually did work for more than just the original Alien. That's a great question. Does anybody know the answer to that? Does anybody know if Geiger did continued stuff? I know that he definitely didn't do it by the time they got to Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection. I know, I'm just going to go in the elevator, I guess. There's nothing else here. Like, we saw the Xenomorph at the beginning of this stage, and then it's just not around. Can I just... Oops. This is me running. All right. Okay, well, that's two stages done. <laughs> I guess we're making good... Hey, man, as long as there's no alien in alien isolation, we make some pretty good fucking time. As long as it's just isolation the game. We move. It's still saying there's no alien. <laughs> hey, just telling you guys right now, like, uh, Daddy's a humanitarian. He really believes in the human dignity of every single life. He gets angry, he gets frustrated, but he really does believe that every human life is special. And by simply by being human, simply by being in the providence of man, you are special. But that being said, if you're ever trapped in a nightmare apocalypse scenario and you're not willing to hop over this fucking counter, I hope you fucking die. I do. I do. I hope you fucking die. I hope you die. If you're not willing to jump over, if you're not willing to fawns your ass over this, like, look at the waist to counter ratio. If you're not willing to scooch over this, you weren't meant for the rest of us, okay? I have no problem saying that. Uh, uh oh. <clears throat> There's limits. Okay, somebody just jokingly said that the tracker was broken like five minutes ago, and ever since then I've been like, maybe that's a game component. This game is so fucky with the information it gives you, would that really be out of the question? <laughs> Now I'm terrified! Now I'm fucking terrified that that's actually what's happening! 
Somebody dick butted that map. I have got so many bullets, and every dude just needs my stun baton wrapped right on their fucking sweet little asshole, so I don't know what they're for. Whoa! I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey! Identify yourself. Ripley. From the torrents. Relax, kid. <laughs> what the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. We couldn't afford a better voice actor? What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlo, the captain of the Anisadora. We should return the flight record. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the seeks and synthetics are less than friendly. God damn it. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuel says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. Hey! I'm pretty sure I'm a great engineer, thank you. Because every single problem I come up against has it's not my problem, and every single engineer I've met has that exact same attitude. So I'm pretty sure I'm nailing it. Uh, Kaiju just gave us some information. I was wrong. It looks like Geiger did actually do up until the third. I was informed he did not do the third. So, my bad. Twas wrong. Alright, so. <clears throat> we're back here at this hub. We keep coming back here to do nothing. Which I'm kind of dope with, because that's kind of how work works. Didn't the alien, like, jump me down twice in this fucking hallway, and now everybody's just kind of like... Chilling out here. Crystal, congratulations on getting home, darling. Well done. Why wouldn't you pick up an axe? Who doesn't pick up an axe? On to stage three for the night. We're making some pretty good progress. After I figured out that I was supposed to talk to the android that I was avoiding. Okay. The alien's back. That's what's fucking important. Oh. 
He doesn't seem hostile, but I bet he is. Howdy. Incapacitating people is just leaving them for the xenomorph. It's just like basically slow cooking them on the inside with the xenomorph. So I don't think that I should get points for that. Shit. You tell me that's not terrifying. Fuck. <laughs> Daddy no like it. So this was it? Or did I knock out the guy, was he supposed to really help me? I don't think so. Aha. The fuck did that do? What the fuck did that do? Does this fucker really know where I'm at? That's probably the body. See, if I hid, he would have fought the android. Where's my objective? Hold on one second. Where the fuck's my objective? Oh, it is here. Does the stun baton work on androids? Thank you. Too late. Well, the thing of it is, sir. Listen, asshole. God damn it. <laughs> this fucking game, man. All right, no enemies nearby, so they say. What the? What the? Did he throw me into the fucking shadow realm? He did. He picked me up and he threw me where I can't get out from. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> yes. Oh, this game. <laughs> he, he fucking, he fucking Yu-Gi-Oh'd me. I don't even know how far. Yeah, I'm so far back. Jesus Christ. All right.
All right, here we go. This time I'm gonna avoid the guy and see if they won't like fight each other and make smoochies. This is why you need a save in all of your areas, game designers. This is why, even though you're like, well, there was just a save two minutes ago, you need a save in all your fucking areas. What if my system sucked? What if it had trouble reloading shit? So we're going to try and sneaky PD around. I know someone's in here. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. I have to press the second thing to let him out, too. Don't worry about it, bro. You just saw a door open and close. You saw a woman come out of it. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm not. Wow, that android took him out with just one little karate chop there, huh? I was expecting a little bit more than that. Be perfectly honest with you. I was expecting a little bit more of a... For my trouble, <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more. That's what you get! EMP sounds. And that is how you kill a fucking robot. Let's pull up the f one more medikit, please.
Might use booze on something. I guess I should pick another noisemaker. Even though I'm real uncertain about using these things. Because they summon the fucking alien. Did we look up everything on here? I don't know if we had. Let's look anyway. Restraint transit! Listen, you crazy bastard. You think things are getting around here? Fucking transit car? You're sitting in an override that disconnect the transfer from Apollo. You fucking pull it. You can stop all this bullshit just by pulling a lever. You think you're safer when the transfer is powered down? We're trapped like rats. For God's sakes, fucking help us! Got a heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing in with Sinclair and the Seekin security guys. I told them it was that you killed Morrison. If they see you, they'll shoot you on sight. So let me join you. Huh? Okay. So is it just not going to let me go back down and press that button again or something? Because it just gave me a new tool to open this. So I'm assuming that... Well, goodness, sir. Well, hello, kitty. Have you decided to come and scare me? In the middle of a streamy. Yeah, she's here to give me fear. Well, no alien.
Okay. I mean, I know that they just gave us a juicy tip that we can go and get a bunch of loot, but I don't care. Do you? Like, we're always struggling to pick up scrap. Uh, well, they just gave us a bit of... Did the game just say that these two people were... Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, I'm actually gonna die. Ah, son of a bitch, I thought I was so good with that first shot getting off too. Alright. Okay. Turning off the air purification here was a smart fucking call. Uh, they just set up that these guys are bad news. Right before we... Okay, well that didn't go nearly as well as I was hoping. So the third guy should just kill me. Like these guys are talking about like raiding and shit, so they're not good guys. All right, so. <laughs> We're back to this shit. At least it's not like a huge run up like the last time. Come on! Alright, I'm gonna try this again. Just hold on. No? How about that? How about there? No? How about that? <laughs> the AI in this fucking game! <laughs> <laughs> well, since we're fucking around anyway, let's see what one does. No, I, I just want to use it. I don't want to make another one, you stupid fucking game. Thank you so much. You guys okay with that? You all right with that? All right, let's see what a pipe bomb does. <laughs> I 
I don't think the enemy took uh, shots to the head. I think he wasn't firing at me because, technically speaking, we couldn't hit each other. All right. Now we're fucking screwing around. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I only killed one person with the Molotov? All right. Jesus Christ, I'm getting worse. Kitty, I don't know how to describe this so that it's satisfactory to you guys without a visual. Kitty is stalking me from across the room, inside like a little... Wait a minute. What am I doing? Kitty's stalking me from the other side of the room. Uh... I don't think he's going to keep that promise, guys. <laughs> oh! All right, so what I'm going to do this time, <laughs> getting slowly more stoned, what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to put the Molotov cocktail on the ground and see if they just walk right past it. That's the plan this time. I'm just going to put it right down on the fucking ground and see if they walk past it. Or if they're all like, somebody's in here. Ready? Nope. Okay. Now, can I shoot that? Well, that's just not very effective. I guess I'm going to try the pipe bomb next. That Molotov cocktail is not... Like the Molotov cocktails of my youth that I never threw at a cop car, I promise. Uh, it's a bit different. My Molotov cocktails kind of destroyed everything. Uh, in like a large radius, frankly. They were grenades, you could say. Uh, so we have a different opinion on what a Molotov cocktail is. Me and the game. You could say. Feels like we're standing around looking at guys. 
<laughs> Did you? You can't be sure though, can you? Can't be sure that you heard something. Fuck! Well, he's absolutely correct on that one. I've been groundhog digging these guys for a while now, so maybe he's fi figured it out. All these guys have is bullets? Bullets and shit to make fucking goddamn medkits with, I guess. Medkit, how I want to use you. Then I guess I'll make another one of you. Alright. Well, I, I don't want to use a pipe bomb on these guys, so... Sorry, we're going to do it one more time. Uh, and this will be it, I promise. Probably, I might die. Hopefully I won't. How much fucking time would I have saved if I had just loaded with a full revolver? Alright, we find number two. We press number two. We go over here. We get our fucking booze. Well, you're the one standing there with your crotch out like an idiot. Standing there with your penis out like a fucking moron. Jesus Christ, you dumb dick. Oh, wait, I guess you don't have one no more. If you didn't want your balls to get shot off, maybe you didn't put them in front of my fucking crosshairs. You ever think of that? So this whole time, all I was supposed to do was just kind of sit back, relax, and shoot him in the fucking kneecaps. That's all I had to do. Was just kind of like sit back, relax, and shoot people in the fucking kneecaps. How I learned to just shoot people in the fucking kneecaps. The Jack story. How I learned to just chill the fuck out. Stop going for headshots. Because apparently shooting these assholes in the knees twice is just as effective. Oh, this game is really fucking fascinating, the way it was put together. All right. <laughs> Apparently it's just fucking kneecaps and balls from here on in, kids. God, maybe this whole time the xenomorph was vulnerable and I just need to shoot her in the fucking knees. You ever think about that? <laughs> Kept going for headshots. Do, 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 do. Can't believe I spent all that time with the Molotov cocktails and the pipe bombs, and it was literally just, hey, just shoot the fuckers. You won't even get shot. You barely won't even lose any fucking bullets. You have too many of those things anyway.
I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are too. No aliens, so we can run. Ripley, we're in the Marshall Bureau. Just turn right at the top of the stairs. You can't miss it. No welcome committee? Just get up here and wait up. Alex, how long was your playthrough of this fucking game? I feel like my playthrough of this game has been going on since the beginning of time. Like, I've spent way too much time with this fucking alien. Burger is delicious. Fuck the marshals. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I've... I've learned how to shoot people with knees, so watch out. I'm very fucking deadly. How's Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're even. Where's Ricardo? Prepping. The low life who showed up with your flight. Where's Alex? The Anisidora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. You got it. And by talk, I mean. <laughs> Okay, you're telling me in the future that we still have that kind of shitty tomato ketchup bottle? That's fucking depressing. Fuck it! I'm out! I was living for the future, but not... If that's the ketchup bottle. So, Alex, what was your favorite weapon to use against the alien since I don't try and fight that fucker and just run away as fast as I can? Did it say alien nearby? Marlo? Bob Marley. Oh, it's gonna show us what he found? Cool. Oh, what? I was picking up my vape pin. God damn it. Ooh, small penis joke. See a needle, boss. Ah. <sighs> I 
there's a flamethrower, and I'm... Like, so I'm just getting started in this fucking game. Hey, Allie, thanks for coming out, darling. Good to see you. That's good. If it's a mystery, then it's unknown. If it's unknown, then it could be valuable. You are a dumb idiot, Marlo. That is the exact opposite of how logical deduction works, you piece of shit. It really is very strange, these rock formations. I sure hope they don't make three prequel movies that don't explain them. I'll have a look around. See if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. Gotta lead the left. Ice, over here. Give me a leg up. Are you heist? Are you? Oh, you're heist. Okay. Did you really just use the verb traverse? I found a path. Check it out. Don't come back. Then you wait some more. We do appreciate you coming in and lurking with us, Allie. Most of the yeah, girls are. It was a close one, though. Don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Just watch yourself, you hear me? Daddy ain't gonna get done streaming. Then he gonna eat some pizza. God, we've been doing this for two hours. I can have the rest of my hash cookie. Mm. I got... I can't pronounce it. It's my favorite kind of pizza to get from Italian places. It's called, I think it's called Capricosia. It is ham, black olives, mushrooms, and artichoke hearts. Yeah, it's really good. I love it. I'm a simple pizza man. I almost never want more than a couple of toppings. Follow me. So. I almost got a Supreme, but that's just a little too many toppings. The, the place that I got it from does six toppings on their Supreme, and um, that's just a little too much. My mouth is watering. Oh, I can't wait for it. I, besides the hash cookie, I haven't eaten since uh, 6 o'clock, or, yeah, about 6 o'clock this morning. So, excited. Gonna eat the shit out of that fucking pizza, man. Today's a full cheat day. I had breakfast burritos for breakfast, and I'm gonna have a pizza for dinner. So, 100% cheat day, baby. But it's only a medium pizza. So I should be pretty close to 3,500 calories for the day, which ain't so bad for a big old dude. I am a hungry boy, it's true. And by the time, like, I heat up the pizza, because I'm going to heat it up in the oven, oh, I'm just going to be salivating, like, I'm just going to be pacing, like, in front of that fucking glass door like I'm Darth Maul. <laughs> I 
I just found out something about uh, the song, the the Duel of the Fates, the song that plays when Darth Maul's fighting in that three-way in the episode one. The lyrics, they sound so good, don't they? The la da la da da Those lyrics, they sound so good, don't they? I just found out today, for real and for true, John Williams uh, was struggling with the vocals and what have you. He found a, I believe it is Welsh, it could be Gaelic, a uh, poem about an angry sorcerer who, who kind of ha- like makes a tree golem. God, this fucking sequence is taking... Like, are we in a movie? Are we in one of the Prometheus fucking movies? Because that's how long this is fucking taken. Holy shit. This is like Act 1 of Prometheus. It's taken for fucking ever. It's going fucking nowhere. We all know how it's going to fucking end. It's not exciting. Yeah, I'm still yelling about Prometheus seven years later. No, I don't have emotional problems. Listen, man, I love Aliens. I do. I love the Alien franchise. Alien, Aliens, to a lesser degree, Alien 3. These are good movies. And so, like, when you're fine, like, I'm going to come out of retirement, I'm going to make a prequel, and then you literally make somebody run from a fucking space donut for two minutes? Yeah, I'm going to carry a fucking grudge. One lady runs from the space donut. Another lady runs behind her. Lady number one looks behind her at the space donut. Lady number two does as well. Lady number one also runs faster because the space donut is rolling after her. Lady number two runs faster after lady number one. The space donut pursues them. Fucking two pages of that shit. No dialogue. Just two women running from a fucking space donut. Sixty five hundred years. I know what it is. It's called a space jockey. sequence is so long and you can't even run so these people found extraterrestrial life and that is their level of excitement these people literally are confirming extraterrestrial life in the alien universe as far as they know it and they're just all like cool Hey, find the recording. Let's see if we can't find some spare gas. Turns out we're not alone in the universe. That's crazy. Let's see if there's anybody else around. Maybe they left some beer cans. Turns out every assumption I had about the place of man in the universe has been assumed and assumed in one single moment. Guys, maybe they had chips of equal importance.
Wait, is this how I came in here? It is! Oh, son of a bitch. I'm, I'm very high. The hash cookie is hidden and I've been hitting my vape pin. <laughs> so this sequence may take a while. Because I have no fear and I also do not give a shit. <laughs> this is... I can't believe that this is not a cutscene. The idea that this is not a cutscene offends the storyteller in me to my core. <laughs> Like, the gameplay already has enough problems in the main game. The fact that they thought this was worthy of its own fucking narrative expedition is beyond me. Oh, man. By the end of this, I'm gonna be so fucking high. Alien, isolation, cavern, crawling through it. Yeah, help me up. Come on. You are a human stool, it's true. Thank you. Gosh, I, I wonder if we're going to start hearing screams over the radio. What do you guys think? Since they went out of our way to tell us that we're playing the sole survivor. Why are video game writers so bad at setting up sequences? This is a horror game. This could be terrifying if I thought I was about to die. But they told me I'm about to live. What other option did I have, game? <laughs> Objective, walk back to the only other place you can go. Oh, this looks like a big, creepy, slimy Amy vagina. So we were talking with Kaiju earlier about Geiger um, and how the art design was made for it. Here's the, dis here's the instruction that Geiger was given uh, by the screenwriter. I want you to make men feel as sexually uncomfortable that they're about to get sexually assaulted by this creature, as women do. And so Geiger does actually make everything uh, very phallic and very uh, yonic. Let me teach some of you words, some of you women that word too high. That's right, yonic. Y-O-N-I-C. Yonic, the opposite of phallic. Boom. Did you know that? No, pussy power. Do you respect it? Not as much as I do, because I don't got one, and I think they're mysterious. Okay, how? Hey, by the way, good job setting that up so quick. Or maybe I've been stuck here since the beginning of time. Okay, we're on minute 25 of the interactive cut sequence in which we know the outcome. <laughs> Did anybody here like Quentin Tarantino's... Uh, not the most recent movie, but the one that was set in the Old West... Did anybody like that one, Hateful Eight? Because 
because I thought that movie fucking sucked. And not only did that movie fucking suck, but like at a certain point, they're all like, hey guys, let's show you what Channing Tatum was doing. Let's show you what Channing Tatum was doing earlier in the movie. But we already know the outcome of everything Channing Tatum did because we've been watching this room for the last two and a half hours. That's exactly how this fucking feels. Like, if anybody had the stones to say to Tarantino, Hey, this script fucking sucks and you can't do... Oh, here we go. Hey, look! It's what this should have been the entire fucking time! Let me hit my vape pen. Every human in the Aliens universe is so stupid. They're all so dumb. Oh, oh, did somebody get aliened in the alien universe? That was worth 25 minutes of walking! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? We wouldn't play this game if we didn't know that. Nobody bought this game without knowing that. Nobody gives a sh <sighs> What? <laughs> that was so dumb. <sighs> That's like if you bought a Harry Potter game and they literally made you, like, walk in on your first day of Hogwarts down the hallway to pick up a wand so that, like, the sorting hat could be put on your head and then the cutscene played. Like, they made you walk for 20 minutes and then the hat gets put on your head and then a cutscene would play and then it tells you your house. That would be the fucking equivalent. Like, can you imagine buying a Harry Potter game and then at any point in that motherfucker, like, you know you're in House Ravenclaw the whole way through or whatever, right? House Ravenclaw represent. I'm not in Ravenclaw, so fuck you if you said yes. Uh, that's right. I tricked you. You're not that smart, are you? I said House Ravenclaw represent. You went, yay. And then I felt you was a trick. How smart are you now? How smart are you now? How smart are you now? <laughs> Shit, I'm high. This is great. Hey, did you overhear the fact that this guy has discovered alien life? Did you hear that by chance? Can I get somebody else interested in the fact that we're not alone in the universe and he's confirmed that this isn't some weird genetic experiment, but actual alien life, one of two alien life forms that he's discovered, and he knows where it is? Can I get you on this motherfucker? You are surprisingly cool with this. Police in the training must have different... Police in the future must have different training. What? Is he a robot? Look what's happening to his eyes! Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think he's a robot. Did you see his eyes go all white? Clearly, that's not a mistake, because this game is perfect. What?! Collect flamethrower? I absolutely want to do that. Ah. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. We literally just discovered 
that it is in fact not an animal. We just this fucking 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 game. All right, I want. Well, once again, we can't use scrap. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Cistex fire. No. I saw Alien 3. You don't have a good plan. So wait, Marlo told me that story and then there's no, there's no fucking connection? What was the point of that? Marlo, Marlo, Marlo. And still this game is giving us basic information. <laughs> okay, well, let's go die to an alien. First trap gone. Let's so trap down the creature self explosive set the hibernation. I don't think we put a dent in it. Okay. That's right. Be afraid, assholes. There's a new sheriff in town. You weren't afraid of that? You will be. About Starbuck. that fucking alien in forever. Okay, which which one do you want me to hit? See, now the motion tracker's not working. Oh my god, this fucking game. <clears throat> it just, it stops. I know I'm hitting the right fucking button. There we go. Okay. Restore power.
Did I not turn the power on or some shit? Ah. Oh. Alex, thank you so much again for coming by uh, helping me out, just being a general pal. Sleep well, darling. Always good to see you. Let's get it on. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I think Ripley has become a violent person over these last few sessions. Maybe it's so nervous for you. You've only killed like 12 people today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. That added an element to this game. Whew. Getting started right away, huh? Am I inhaling smoke right now? Yep. I sure am. No flashlight. Oh, my flashlight batteries are dead. I need to replace those, so how do I do it? Uh, F. Yes, not. All right, so if I go through there, it's going to beep at me because I've got weapons. So I don't want to do that. <clears throat> okay, so...
No. Okay, I did. Okay. Whoops. I don't see a weapon on this guy. I don't see a weapon on either of these guys. No, they're bad. <laughs> God damn it, I can't tell if they're good or bad. Well, that music says bad. Was there a save that I missed? I'm going to save real quick. Because I'm going to go say hi to these guys, and they're going to shoot me. But I want to say hi first. I just... You can tell that the THC is kicking in because I don't want <laughs> to kill a video game man unless I have to. And then I'll enjoy it. A lot. Quite frankly. So. Hey. Did something back there just explode? Let's let me see what that means. Oh. You heard the lady. Let's go. See? If I hadn't saved, I think I would have shot them all. <laughs> hey, when she said the creature was nearby, she wasn't kidding. <laughs> hey guys, I think we found the alien again. Hey guys, the alien's coming, let's go. Okay. She means it, guys. It's true, it went for a full shoulder tackle. Well, I don't really give a shit if these guys live or die, so...
Okay, that's not a bad plan. It's not gonna work, but I've heard worse plans. <laughs> Terrifying. So they're just reusing. I mean, how is that not attracting the fucking creature? Uh, I mean, you know, it's been a full day. I've been working hard, and the THC is kicking in. So, yeah, I think I'll probably calm it down a bit. Hope you're enjoying it. I'll still scream when it gets me. Maybe. Plus, you should really not take edibles on an empty stomach. But Daddy likes to live dangerously. Well, I hear the safe beep. That's nice. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Safe Beep, where are you? I want to save in case it comes out the blue. Good night, Jasmine. Thank you so much for coming by. Good to see you again. Thank you for being a patron, darling. Said. I'm waiting for the drool to come out that bend. Okay, here we go. I don't want to jinx anything. It's been really nice to have a, a technical stream that's not been, uh, had any issues whatsoever. Okay. 
I guess this is our fucking plan. Do you have a gun? No, you don't. Okay. You need to go, motherfucker. <laughs> the way the NPC casually said that as they walked away. I never said we were going for a 10 hour stream. Go fuck yourself. If you want me to go for a 10 hour stream, that's called a work shift with overtime pay. And feel free to start throwing money into my fucking pot, like it. I don't understand what a spill is. What's a spill in the future? And why are they people? Okay, I'm back here. Whoops, I got turned around. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe this was just exploring this place. Silhouettes when it goes from falling on. Okay, well. I'm gonna move the archives around, and then when the station is usual again, everyone will be all like, why are all the archives moved? <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll show them. That'll show them for messing with me. Your turn. Really? Really? Why'd you have me press those buttons then, game? Huh? 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 What? 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 Why are you screaming? What'd I do? Oh my god, are we dating? Why did she suddenly scream? Yeah, we are. 
Oh shit. Maybe I can soothe the alien by playing some dope ass folk music. Well, tell you the truth, dude. I'm trying to use you for bait. I think one of those was the android. You survived, you piece of shit? Wow. Good job. <clears throat> Can't get a full guard 24-7 but the volunteer lookout. Okay. No much longer I can take this. It's cramped and dirty and the trash is starting to rot. We don't even know if we're really safe here. Big deal. I got one of those too. Yeah? Yours has been merely tolerated. Took her and I couldn't do a thing to stop her. Doug, Liam in half. <laughs> Okay. 
Why was the objective updated? God damn it. Okay, that one's on me. Eric, damn calls are screwing you there. Lincoln, can you hear me? I made down to tech support. I picked up some canisters of water and some battery packs. I own some tools too. So we're going to we have to try and break the lock up. I think that was security. I go through the vent. Well, I shouldn't run. What? Open asshole. <clears throat> What's happening now? Oh man. myself in here? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Where did you even come from? say I'm kind of feeling the fatigue hit we've, we've done a, we've done a lot of alienating uh, this is kind of a complicated sequence with these stairwell jacks I'll give it one more shot That's the alien killing me. Tch. Wow. <laughs> well, that actually worked pretty good. So I guess we just have to use the flamethrower in this section, huh? All right. But it's only going to stay away for a little while, we know. So, uh, I think I should probably be hitting this with more excitement. Hey, you, asshole. I've got something for you right here. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I don't. Uh, that is uh, very effective. Okay. So we're going to have to go around and crawl through and shut off these four different points. 
Uh, that seems like a lot for a single save point. We got all the way up to Spire and there wasn't a save point offered. So uh, we did do three hours. We made a, almost three hours. We made a lot of progress. Thank you to everybody who came out, who said hello, all the rest of it. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I will be streaming non... Thank you for the quick tip, Crystal. Uh, I will be streaming a non-scary game before Saturday. Uh, I promise I'm getting more and more in the habit of trying to do more and more stuff. Uh, just a little bit of a backlog left with the vacation, getting everybody back stateside, Allie, back to Australia, what have you been. And, gosh, I am getting pretty high. Uh, so thank you guys very, very much. I'm going to go and eat my pizza now because I haven't had any food in... What time is it? I haven't had any food in 16 hours hours. So I'm going to go devour the shit out of that fucking pizza. Uh, thank you guys very, very much. Truly, uh, look forward to, look, just keep an eye out. If you haven't followed, follow the stream, follow the Grey Knight, uh, uh, the real Grey Knight uh, on Twitch, because I will be uh, just streaming, and the best way to know if I'm streaming something besides a scary game or a scheduled stream is just to come on in. So thank you guys again. It was a great stream back. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying all the content. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to everybody who supported me. Thank you to everybody who tipped in August and all the rest. Hope you have a lovely September ahead of you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye.